Okay, today I'm going to show you how to go in and do today's assignment. So this happens to be this access module end of project. So I come down to the six. So it's access module two end of module project. I'm get in here and start this. We'll see that it has the database, obviously the instructions, and then an extra sheet. This is in CS110. Um, K drive CS110 under access module two, so I'm not going to worry about downloading it here. I'm going to download my database, and obviously on these, we always start these projects by opening them up and then saving them with the two on the end. So as soon as I open this up, enable content, file save as, save database as, and then I need to put it somewhere where I know where it is. So in this case, I'm putting the K drive assignments CS110, and then under my name and put it in a folder called Access Chapter 2 so I don't get confused about what I'm submitting. And you'll see I've already got it saved there. I did it once. So yes, I want to replace this one and we'll start over from scratch. Enable content. Yes, we always trust it. So it's just, I have to do it every time. So I have the instructions already printed out. And the first thing it tells me to do is always check our grading info table. And the only reason this is important, if that's not there, then you're not going to get a grade. It will go ahead and submit it and everything, but it just won't give you, it'll give you a score, but it won't give you a feedback. So that's why I just checked to make sure that came through. So on step one, they ask you that you're going to go in here and you're going to create a query from design. So we're going to go to create query from design. And in this query, we're using the members table here. Now, once we put that table in, we close. I have a proper sheet open here. I'm going to close that. Come down here and then pull this down so I can see all the fields. So in this query, we're going to put member ID. And I make sure that goes down this first field. First name, last name, and then club ID. Now, if you screw one of these up, you can always click right here and delete them out. You just click, you know, with a little black down arrow. But anyway, I have the four right ones in here. And it tells me on this that once I create this query, I need to find all the club ID fields for members that belong to club CO2. So under club ID here, if I run this right now, I'll see I have CO4, a bunch of CO2. So when I go back into design here, I need to come right down here in criteria and type capital C02. Now when I run this, hopefully I just see all the CO2s. So I have that done, and it wants me to save this, the CO2 members. So I close it, save it, yes. And then I'm going to title it CO2 members. Say OK. And that one's done. I want to make sure I read these close, make sure I do everything right. So step two, open the total fees query. So come over here down to queries and be careful if you don't see these. Sometimes some of you guys messed with this where you have different views, table related views. I don't like that view. I stick straight to object type and all objects. So it sorts them by tables and queries. But anyway, total fees queries is there at the bottom. And I need to add a calculate field. So to sum these up, so I have to go into design. And this will be on the test. I have to come over here, right click, and go to the zoom. So I have to be in this blank, first blank deal. If I try it anywhere else, I don't get that. So I have to be careful I'm in this blank one over here. If I go to zoom. This is called the expression builder. And I'm just going to build this. So first I start off with the alias of total fees. And I have to put a colon. Be very careful, brackets. And what I need to do is type the field name. So I'm pulling this down to make sure I spell them right as they're in my table here. So the two fields are going to be registration field. You can try to click on them, but it won't put them in. So registration fee, and then bracket. And I want to add that bracket to annual fee, and then bracket. Once again, I can't stress enough, if I do not spell these field names correctly, so that's why I can, you know, the annual fee here, looking now, I spelt there, and then registration fee. Once I have that, I say, okay. When I run this, I had the annual fee name wrong. So instantly, I got to fix that. So I have to hit cancel here. I have to go back in here to Zoom and go in this annual fee, and I got one too many ends in the name. And that's how easy it can be to screw this up. Now I say, okay, and I run this. I get the total fees over here. Now I read this, so I want to make sure they don't have me add any alias or other things. So nope, that's it. So now I can save this. So when I close it, I just save it. Yes. Step three, create a parameter query for the members table. When you read that and on the test, it just, and you might get lost. All I'm doing is creating a design, query design. So I go query design, 
It's the members table. I'll get to the parameter part of it. That's just with brackets here in a little bit. So first I just go ahead and build the query and in this one, you want to enter a different state each time to run the query. The user should see all the fields. So I have to pick all these fields. Now, if I was going to put all the fields in a query, I could hit the little asterisk at the top, but in this one, I need the state field so I can go down in the criteria of state. So if I wanted all the fields but there's no criteria on it, I can just do that. But here, we come down here in the criteria, and in bracket, we're going to type enter, and normally be enter state, but they want enter desired state, and then I put another bracket. Once again, I cannot stress enough that you have to make sure these are spelt right. And then, when I run this, it should ask for the states. I know Georgia is a state in here, so I put GA just to make sure this works. I get all the Georgias here, so my query works. I close this, save it, yes. And they want me to name this member states. Okay, so that's the name of it. Say okay. Now, step Four, create a query that joins members table and clubs table. So when I do that, we're creating all our queries from design. I want to make sure I have the members table and the clubs table. I can close this. I bring these down so I can see all the fields in these two tables. If I've got the wrong table, I can always right click and remove table, or I can right click and show tables if I need to add table, other tables. But this, the two I need is members and clubs. So, first thing they want me to do is to include the club name field from the clubs table. So I go to club name field from the clubs table. Then they want first name, last name, and state from the members. So I read this again. They say, and the first name, last name, and state field from the members table. In the query results, sort records sending order by club name. So down here, i got to find the club name, and I want to sort these in ascending order by this club name. Make sure I read this. So last name from the members table query, sort the records in ascending order by club name, save the query club-members. So it's a brand new query, so I can just close it and save it and name it. And I'm going to name it clubs dash members. There's never any spaces, any names in that. So if you read that, it looks like there's spaces on the instructions. No, there's never any spaces, and I'm checking my spelling, and say OK, and that one is saved. Step five asks us to open our SC members query. So I open this query. I need to find all the members to club ID C01. So I go in here, design view. And let's go back and run this again. What it's asked me to do is go in here and find all these over here that are CO1 in this field and South Carolina over here. And I have to figure out if it's and. So I want South Carolina, so like this will be one of my find. So I go back to design. I'm going to go into club ID and I want C01. Over here in the state, that's why I ran it so I can see that South Carolina is SC. So. I want to make sure I have that right, C0. So when I run this, what I should see is just the ones that have SC and 01. And after I'm done with that, it asks me to save it. So I say, yes, save that. Now, step six, open the member swimmers query. Member swimmers query is open. I go in design view because I always do our work from design view. Change the join property. So this is our join property between these two fields. And you left click on this and go to join properties. And in this, they want us to change the join property so all members are including the query results. So I'm looking for all members, include all members from swimmers where the join fields are equal, include all records from swimmers, and only records numbers where the join fields are equal. So we have two of them here. So when I read this really close, it says open the Swimmers query, change the joint property so that all members include in the query results. So include all records members from the swimmers and only those records members where the joint fields are equal. Include rows of our joint fields from both tables are equal. Include all records from members and only records from swimmers are joined. So I'm really confused about this. This joint products and members are included in the so members. So I want to pick the one that's members. So I'm going to pick two, so that's the members and all the records, and say OK. Now, I also have to sort this by level ID. So over here under level ID, I need to sort this, and they need me to sort this in ascending order. 
So now, and it tells me to save it. I always run my query to make sure that it worked. And so, there's a lot of records in there. I hope that's right. I'll close it, save it, and we'll find out when I grade it. Seven, import the support file into the swim strokes table. So to get this, this Excel file, I see there it's seven. So I go to external data. I'm going to a new data source from file Excel. When I go in here, I go to browse. Like I said, I have this in the K drive. And it's also my downloads because I did click on it to download it. But in the K drive CS110 data files under access module two, and this support swim strokes there, I open that. They want me to append this to a table that's already in there, so I have to go here to append a copy of records table, and I have to change this to the swim strokes table. I say OK, it shows me the data, which that's good, I see data here, so I go next, and then in table, don't have to mess with that, There's, would I like to analyze the importing the data, and it doesn't say anything, so do not save the steps, I just hit finish and close. Now. I'm going to go check that. I just want to make sure that it added that data in there, which I know it did, but it brought this extra data in there. Okay. Back page, my instruction, page step eight. Open the swim levels query. So I come down to swim levels query. Move the last name field. So I have to go into design. So I come back over here to home, go into design view, and they want me to move this last name field so it appears after swimmer's ID. So I need to move it over in front of first name. So all I do is I click downwards, so I have the whole table selected, the little black arrow. I'll do that again if you missed it. I gotta come down here and get this black arrow. This little black arrow here. I click and let go. Now I hold my mouse down on the whole black box, move over until I get the black line. So now my last name is in front of that. Once I move the last name field so it appears after swimmers ID, I find all swimmers who have a level ID. So I have to come in here, level ID of five or six. So down here is the or line right below that. So I want five or six. So I put six there. Once I run this, before I do this, it says ascending order by last name and then first name. So I got to come over to last name, make this ascending order, and then make this ascending order by first name. I also need to change the caption of this level ID to skills. So I go into property sheet, Come over here to caption, so I click on the level ID, and the caption over here will be skill level. And they capitalize the L in level, so skill level, make sure I have that right. When I run this, what I should see is five and sixes, and this is skill level up here. Now I save the query, so I close it, yes, save it. Final step A, create a query for the members table. So I go to create, query design, members table. Close that. And from this, I want to list all states in ascending order. Okay, so I have to come down here and all states. Now you'll notice the property sheet there. I had the right properties. I want to go do this again. I'm going to close this. Now I'm not going to save it. I'm going to do this query again. So since I have the property sheet up, when I go in this query, and this will happen to you sometimes, query design, and I'll do this again, I'm going to put in members. When I add the members, the property sheet changed over here. There's a bunch of different unique values in that. So when I put these in, so I want state here, so you'll see there's unique records, all this changes by what's chosen. So when I put state in here, but I want the unique values. So I need to have the property sheet, different property sheet for this. And so I need to find the unique values property sheet on this table so on this whole properties for this whole query sometimes what i'll do is run it come back out and then come back into it and go to the property sheet to bring it up because i want unique values down here in this members so i'm trying to get the properties to come up just for this where i get that unique members i'm gonna have to pause to look this up Okay, so after some fumbling, I figured this out. I have the state field here. When I go to property sheet, I don't see what I'm looking for. I come over here in this gray area and click one time. You have to click out here in this gray area. Then I will get into the unique records. And I will need to change this unique values to yes. So now when I run this, instead of having all the states, I just have the four. Now, it tells me to save this, create a query for states. These states should appear only once. Save the query using unique states. So I close it as a brand new query. Say yes, I want to save it. And type unique states. 
Okay, make sure I look, make sure they didn't have any sending. Each search appeared once, everything so safe, so that should be fine. Now it says save and close any database I have, compact and repair, so I come to file, hit compact and repair of the database, then close it, to X out access, come over here to continue, go to upload, come into my folder, that's the access to right where I saved this, click this file, submit. Sometimes these databases will take a long time to submit, especially if you're doing from home, you have slow internet, but just be patient. If it does crash, just close it and resubmit it. But go to View Reports, open up on your report, come down here to my grading report. 97, it got me for three stinking points somewhere. So down here, create a query from members table to sending order. Each state should only once save the query using unique state's query name. The unique state series should be sorted by state field value sending order. So yeah, when I did that unique states, I should have went in here under design and said ascending order. I was afraid I was missing something and then ran that so they're alphabetical. So make sure you fix that on yours. But anyway, that is it. I'll close mine, close this. I am done. Have a great week.